guys, welcome back to Healthy, Hot, and Delicious. Today I was at the grocery store and checking out, and I saw on one of the magazine racks this picture of something called coconut lime chicken. It looks really fresh and light, and it was like coconut lime, it sounds like summer, and I was like, I think I'm gonna make that when I get home. So, I read a couple of recipes really briefly and kind of put together something. Um, got a bunch of different spices here. There's sugar, about one tablespoon, teaspoon and a half of salt, kosher sea salt, two garlic cloves, about a teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon and a half of ground cumin, and the zest of one lime, and one Thai chili that's sliced up very carefully. So first thing I do is get that all in a bowl here. And I'm afraid to touch the chilies because I'm not awesome at handling the heat. But, get the chopsticks. Okay. Put those on a bowl so that I can mix together this marinade with the coconut milk and lime juice. Let it hang out while I go get a workout on. So, here's all the stuff in a bowl. I've got some coconut milk light. Definitely smells like coconut. And it's got four grams of saturated fat per serving. So it's not fantastic for you, much better than the regular stuff though. I think we're, if we use it as a marinade, then it'll be better than having a full saucy chicken. I'm just gonna grill or bake this chicken um, and keep away some of these saturated fats. Other than that, protein, sodium, coconut, smells pretty dang good. So I'm gonna get about, what is this, half a cup. I think about a cup of coconut milk. Just half a cup. Let's say three, three quarters of a cup. So three quarters of a cup of light coconut milk goes into the bowl. And then I'm gonna grab my limes. <laughs> not look at the camera. Okay. So not the best lime, but it's gonna squeeze about the juice. Oh my god. This lime is dead. Well, Try this one. I just like to roll them and see if I can get more juice out of them when I actually cut them. Ah! Jesus. Whoopsies. Okay. So, this line's a little happier. Nice and juicy. Put the juice of one, probably two limes in here. Holy smokes. These limes are not cooperating. Yeah. It's gonna be my warm up to my workout. Squeeze. Shit. Okay. I've got another lime in the fridge. Lately, I've gotten a lot of bad limes, so I've gotten the habit of kind of squeeze testing the limes when I'm in the grocery store. The best ones are when the skin is really, really thin and it's all juice. We don't always get those. Ah, oh, this is nice. Thin skin, lots of juice. Squeeze. Squeeze. Ugh. Okay. Ah, whatever. So, about the juice of two lines. Whatever you can squeeze out of your lines. And I'm just going to whisk this marinade up. You can see it all in here. It's, it's pretty thick. Alright, so there is our marinade. You can see it's a little spotty. The cumin isn't completely dissolved, but meh. I think that's okay. Here I've got some chicken chopped up. I've got chicken breast. I think like one chicken breast and two chicken thighs. And I kind of took half of it and chopped it up into little pieces. And then the other half I chopped into big um, kind of steaks to grill. I think I'm going to stir fry half and grill the other half and see how the texture turns out. Now, chicken is always such a healthy option, but eating skinless, boneless chicken breast is just so blah sometimes. It's dry, it tastes like paper. So I'm trying to find ways to make it so I can still enjoy the benefits of healthy chicken and not have to die in the taste department. There we go. I'm just going to stir the chicken around a little bit to make sure it gets well coated. It's like just about enough marinade 
in, cover this puppy up, pop it in the fridge and let it sit for the next hour or so while I go and work out. See you guys in a minute. Alright, so we're back. I did a crazy ass workout with Zuzana and I threw the chicken in the oven for about 10 minutes on 425 and another 15 on 350. Hooked up the boil for the last five minutes and there you have coconut lime chicken. Dark and light meat. I'm gonna taste. Definitely smell the coconut. Mmm. Oh snap. I think we have a winner. I also made some green bean salad with balsamic, a little bit of sesame oil, and chopped up um, almonds. Just barely blanched the green beans so they're really nice and crispy. And then a chickpea, apple, cinnamon, and raisin salad on the side. Lots of healthy options. Put all the recipes on my blog. See you guys there.